Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. That is good. That is good. Hello, welcome to Wild Warrior. Uh, this is round one of the Bug Eater GT uh, Saturday and Sunday event. It's one of five. It's on a 20 nil scoring system. Uh, and it, there's in every battle, there's up to 500 additional victory points that can add into your score and then uh, adjust on the chart for the 20 nil. But uh, so my first opponent of the day is going to be dwarves, and this dwarf list is uh, pretty balanced. It's got a, a unit of uh, longbeards with hand weapon and shield, and uh, he's got a dragon slayer or demon slayer. He's got some corollers back there. It's got a battle standard bear. Uh, there's a big unit of uh, dwarf great weapons. Now these are the regular dwarves. Uh, however, he's running uh, several characters to buff these dwarves up. And in particular, he's got uh, he's got a lord on a uh, shield bears and then a BSB and then a rune lord or a rune smith i think a rune lord which really didn't come into factor since i only have a level one caster this tournament uh turned out to be open list i thought it was closed list but then we discussed our armies and his uh i'm not really afraid of his general uh, he's only got uh basically a hamilton shield uh that's not the way i would have kitted out a lord i would have been very killy i was gonna pay all the points for him but uh on the other side here, he's got uh, Joseph Bugman, the special character, and then uh, 10 Iron Drakes, and 10 more Thunders there for some shooting, and an organ gun, and a cannon. And I do not remember what the the items are ruined up. I think they both have Rune of Fire, and Rune of uh, the cannon's got Rune of Fortune. So my list, I'm taking uh, basically a all smash. Army. It's very one-dimensional. I knew I'd run into some troubles with some armies out here, but uh, after my debacle at Adepticon and leadership checks and all that stuff, and I'm just taking a very simple point-and-click army. I've got 59 orc biggins, the flaming banner in there, uh, two units of six trolls. I've got 35 black orc, the immortals with the special character. Uh, I, uh, Grimgor, and then I've got like 30, 29 or 30 Savage Orcs, they're just the regular Savage Orcs, and I put a big boss in uh, each one of those units, uh, well the Black Orc BSB is, goes in the big ones, and then there's a Savage Orc big boss with a great weapon. And then I've got two Wolf Chariots, the other Wolf Chariot is the mount for my level 1 Spellcaster, and all he has is a Dispel Scroll. Uh, probably should have have given him a ruby ring as I every game I had tons of extra casting dice but uh, yeah it is what it is so yeah one dimensional army now the first scenario that we're playing in has two templates one on each side and you nominate one of your units to have a nexus thing and if you move that unit into the circle then you can score some additional victory points uh, 100 for the first turn and 150 for the second and then it burns that nexus out and then you'd have to move that unit over into the other nexus to be able to try to get those the most that anyone can give out is uh, 250 points and you know you can contest those with your opponent and etc etc so so here's my deployment my trolls are really far back uh, that organ gun has flaming, there's iron drakes over there, and then the cannon also has flaming, so I just decide to I put them within the general's leadership and park them back quite a bit. Uh, I got a wolf chariot on the far right there, I got my immortals there, uh, they're going to head into that nexus point and try to start collecting some additional victory points. Uh, and then another wolf chariot, and then my giant unit of biggins. I have them in Horde uh, right now, and then uh, another Wolf Chariot, and then my Savages up there on the hill, and the only thing really across from the Savages are some uh, Quarrelers, so 
I think the Savages can deal with those Coilers. Let my big box deal with his main line. And then uh, if I can uh, get into his stuff there, then maybe get my trolls in to help uh, clean up uh, some of the flanks. So that's my idea. Uh, dwarves are deployed. He's got, looks like a unit of Thunders there. And then a unit of the, those are his long beards, one hand weapon and shield. Or they actually are uh, iron breakers, I believe. Yeah, they're iron breakers. And uh, so the iron breakers are there, and they have a, the rune lord in there with them. So that's a, kind of a tough nut to crack. And then a, the organ gun, and then his his big board of uh, great weapon warriors. And then the cannon and iron drakes up on top of the hill. So yeah, the, the you know. I'm looking at his army and it does not look like there's a whole lot there. Uh, shooting, I'm not too worried about. He doesn't have an overwhelming amount of uh, like organ guns or rock throwers or anything like that. So I don't really have anything in my army worth shooting a cannon at very much. A 50 point uh, chariot. But, uh, and then yeah, there's his uh, corollaries on the far left. So he's just placing his characters at this point. That, you know, the Joseph Bugman is in there, and that uh, that dwarf lord. But uh, and the BSB is all in that one unit. So I'm not I'm not too terribly worried about that unit. Uh, I think that my special character get in there. He will kill that dwarf lord pretty quickly. Uh, here's his chopper vanguards up. They're there. Uh, he he, uh, he wins first turn and uh, moves his uh, he just moves his rifles up. There's nothing in range, and then he moves his uh, iron breakers into the woods there. And uh, so then on uh, next turn, or at least fourth turn, uh, he had killed the, the chariot with the that was had the on his turn, he shot that chariot out from underneath the, the shaman. Uh, I think the spell that the shaman has this game is poison. Yeah, it is poison. Uh, so that's gone. Uh, and then uh, so it goes to the working drama turn. And I just go straight ahead. Uh, one of my trolls has a stupidity problem. And uh, they're kind of canted to the right there, which turns out to, you know, I'm very much leaving them in the dust. And so they're on a leash of nine, but the reroll was too far away. So they're stupid standing there. My goblin kind of scurries behind them to uh, try to hide a little bit from that uh, chopper. But uh, other than that, I just move up uh, full speed ahead. The, on his dwarf turn, he flies over and he likes to drop a bomb on the trolls. I figured he'd drop a bomb on the shaman and eliminate him, but he drops a bomb on the trolls and does do a wound. Uh, but my shaman is still alive. Uh, his shooting takes out a troll in that other unit there. And it looks like there's a couple black orcs gone from a couple maybe rifle shots or iron drakes. So, not, not too bad. And you can you know, see the, he doesn't he didn't move or anything really any more than that uh, just holding to his gun line so on my turn I declare a charge of my trolls and they make it into his rifles so that's nice uh, they're a few trolls short but they uh, should be okay and uh, he's got his uh, dragon slayer or whatever that is back there uh, but uh, Hoping to make quick work of these guys, and then uh, we'll run into him. And my black orcs, I did not charge. Uh, I just moved into that nexus so I could start scoring the points. You get 100 this turn and 150 for the subsequent turn. And everybody else just moves up as such. Nice solid battle line. Now, my my uh, biggins there. Uh, I know that dwarves have hatred, and uh, I, I, I could have probably put my black orcs five across. Uh, I'm not really too worried about the iron breakers. 
with my jenner on there and uh, here's his charges he charges his big block of, of uh, gray weapons into the big ones I have 59 guys there and I have a big boss in there so uh, and he has 40 so I've got numbers on him he's gonna do a, a lot of damage on the first turn I know that but uh, hoping to uh, be steadfast on a 9 uh, re-rollable if my BSB lives and uh, just a 9 if not so there's that I can beat that unit and grind it down then you know that should be pretty much the game since it's a giant bunch of characters and stuff in there on his bugman's brew he does roll uh, he's stubborn and I was I was I thought that just lasted for the whole turn wasn't really aware for the first round or two of combat that if I kill him it stops immediately uh, his shooting picks on the black orcs heavily I can see they're much depleted than they were just a little bit ago so uh, that's that's kind of rough uh, but you know that's what's gonna happen my savages over there are just getting shot at basically by the corollers and they're actually doing quite a bit of damage to them uh, with no cover and I'm in short range so looks like this is uh, we rolled the combat there we may have but uh you know I hold uh, he's he's in there I don't direct any attacks on any of his characters I'm just going for combat resolution and trying to get rid of some of those great weapon attacks <coughs> and uh, in, in uh, which you know with that bugman uh, I need to try to kill that guy so over here uh, I just get a little crazy. I, I actually I threw poison up. Well, I I, tr I charged the gyrocopter with my goblin. Uh, I have a charge and a flank, and he's only got two attacks at strength four and toughness three. So I I'm hoping that he only does one wound, and I win the combat resolution and maybe get lucky and break him. Uh, I reform my black orcs there to get back into at least three ranks and my savages over on the far left uh, squabble kind of right, right there in no man's land they squabble and not like even where they can declare charge it's a, a one followed by a one and they just stand there doing nothing luckily my black orcs or my uh, big ones are already in combat so they're not affected by that result so uh, my wolf chariot charges the organ gun finally to silence that thing and uh, Get it off my black orcs, which is that's what's doing like the majority of the damage Iron drakes are pretty tough too though ten shots at strength five But that organ gun is really what's wailing on me So got a uh, chariot into that to try to get it to stop shooting me and Then in the middle we are just grinding and grinding and grinding so uh, oh, that chariot uh, was next to my uh, biggins, and I elected to declare a charge on it. I was able to make one wheel and get into them, hoping for a nice uh, roll of impact hits and knock that shooting down. I mean, they'll kill it, uh, I know, in the long run, but I'm just hoping to get a uh, some of those guys down so the strength five shooting's not so bad. And uh, here, I'm as you can see, I've ground him down to. Uh, I'm really, I'm really doing a number on these guys. But uh, at this point, I realized, God, I got to kill that bugman because he's just not dying. And I got to get that lord, you know, and I got to get that BSB and that special character to to really score some points. So after this round, I think I start directing attacks on bugman to stop giving them stubborn with his brew. Now, on the far right here, so you can see that token on my black orcs. That's the poison that I put up. I throw a poison on them just in case they get charged. And the result is a miscast on my shaman. And I rolled a strength 10 small template. And I put a wound on me and the copter. Which, you know, I, I really don't care. That goblin is really cheap. But I was kind of hoping to at least try to hold that chopper up. And uh, 
he ends up uh, killing it on my turn because I don't have the... Cause I only have one wound. He did one wound, and he was able to kill me because of my miscast. He charges into the rear with the gyrocopter. I totally forget about my poison attacks. Uh, I don't know how many sixes I rolled on the rerolls because they have hatred because of special character. Uh, I like to use two hand weapons because I'm strength five this round. And at the time, I was like, oh, I have poison. So uh, uh, just looking for sixes with the reroll, you know, and then I'm strength five. So, yeah, the chopper comes in. I'm able to put only one wound on it. I had four guys in base contact. That's eight attacks, rerolling to hit, needing fours to wound. And I do one wound to it, so I don't clear that off my rear. And I totally forget to roll the poison on the front. Uh, I'm throwing uh, my... my General has five attacks, has strength like eight. And these iron breakers, you know, they charge in, they're plus one strength this round, so they're strength five. They have a five up shield parry all the time, so uh, that's pretty nasty. His armor is a three up and it goes to a five up, so he's got a five up, five up. And you know, in, in hindsight, maybe I should have used gray weapons, but I was looking for that poison and the reroll, which I totally forgot. I, may, I totally forgot about poison. I did re-roll though. And yeah, I only kill like two iron breakers. I don't clear that guy off my rear. He kills one guy enough to, uh, or maybe more than that, but uh, I'm not steadfast. And it's like, oh my effing god. I can't believe what just happened. So I break his, both the units chase after me. Uh, and run me down, or at least the iron breakers did. And oh, so that was like eight, nine hundred points, uh, including the hundred point for the general. So now I'm desperate. Uh, my big guns break his lord unit because I killed Bugman, uh, but I don't catch him, and I kind of miss a half of a picture here because those iron drakes up on the top of the hill, uh, the general had fled to right in front of them. On the on the dwarf turn, he's leadership 10, and he fails to rally. And he saw so at that point, I'm hoping he rolls really far, and he'll get to the table edge, and my uh, my wolf chair could just charge charge it off, the VSB and the general. But uh, he doesn't. He rolls snake eyes, so he ends up bouncing just behind the iron drakes. And my big ones to redirect and they declare a charge on the Iron Drakes. And Iron Drakes probably should have fled. I take that back because with the cannon there, I could have uh, still got that and then overran. But uh, I had to get my chariot into the cannon, kill the cannon, get the chariot into the Iron Drakes, etc. etc. And I was able to charge the Iron Drakes with the with the chariot because here's the other thing that flaming banner on those on those orcs is like I need this chariot to do a ton of impact is because uh, he's got a two aboard against flaming I'm like uh oh so I charge him with combat resolution I roll like a five plus one on the impact is I'm able to knock that unit down to two iron drakes they fail and they flee and I overrun and I'm able to kill the general in the BSB uh, so I had a total turn of events where I was able to get back into a decent point standing uh, after he killed my general in an unbelievable display of dicing and uh, just, you know, just a desperation charge that, you know, it wasn't doomed, but uh, I thought I had, he even thought he, he was, you know, didn't have much of a chance, but... So it turns out, after we total up, I have the bonus points there of uh, 350 or 250. Uh, and uh, with everything being said, I end up able to score a 14 to 6 victory. Uh, it was a hard fought uh, battle. I had to come from behind after my uh, Black Orcs really let me down there. And, uh, you know, I don't know statistically if I should have done better if I, you know if I could have used gray weapons but yeah it was really depressing uh, my other trolls uh, ended up uh, failing to rally checks or not stupidity checks and they they walked right off the side of the board to get him 210 points there so that was disappointing too but that's what happens when you have trolls sometimes 
But, uh, yeah, uh, this opponent that I played, uh, he's from uh, South Omaha, uh, kind of far for me to drive on a regular basis. Uh, but, uh, you know, I need to get down to that game shop and play these guys some more because every one of them is a great opponent. He was a great opponent. He, you know, he's a pretty casual guy. He's the one who 20 nilled me with the Demons uh, Nurgle at the March Hair event in Omaha. So, uh, you know, I guess I got uh, a little bit of lucky uh, payback here he you know he had me beat there uh, for a, a second but i yeah, my big guns were grinding that unit pretty good so i was happy to get a win uh, as opposed to a, to a draw but so well thanks for watching and uh look forward to getting game two posted for you thanks